Hi, this is Fernando Herboso with uh, ReallyNiceHomes.com, Herboso & Associates. Uh, today we're going to be answering a question that is uh, very, um, uh, well, it's a question that a lot of people ask and it really means different things to many homeowners. What is a short sale? The question is, what is a short sale? And a lot of times we get confused with uh, generalizing the answer to this question based on uh, everybody's uh, different types of problems they may have uh, when they find themselves in a distress situation. Normally a short sale uh, will depend uh, very much so on your current financial situation, your lender, who is your lender, who is the first and second mortgage, is the, is the mortgage insured or not, and what is your current hardship. All those things are very important when it comes to a short sale. So, but uh, let's concentrate on what a short sale really is and uh, let's get to the bottom of this. Um, we're going to start with the uh, mortgage being underwater. You find yourself that your home is underwater and you're hoping for your problem to go away. You know, and one of the things I've discovered a lot of people do is they like to just bury their, their heads in the sand basically and try to ignore the problem and hoping this thing is going to go away, which in reality it doesn't. So you find, very, you find yourself very soon broke with no money because you keep paying for your mortgage and keep paying and paying when you don't have any more money. So you start taking money from your 401ks, you start taking money from your uh, bank accounts, and then in some cases, some, you even are going into your Visa card and cashing in uh, some cash advances and so you can uh, pay for this. And uh, obviously, you don't want to uh, ignore this problem um, and and just walk away or you know there's options you may have like a short sale a foreclosure or a deed in lieu of foreclosure you know worst thing you can do actually is to actually use your visa and mastercard to get out of the problem by cashing in some uh, cashing in and taking some cash advances to pay your mortgages then you call your lender to ask for a loan modification, and a lot of times a loan modification may not be the perfect uh, solution to your problem. Uh, you know, a loan modification in most cases will benefit only the lender. It's not going to benefit you as the homeowner, especially if they don't reduce the principal amount. This is very specific. If they are not reducing the principal amount of your loan, a loan modification more likely is going to benefit only one person, and that is your lender, not you. So then you start, you feel like you're losing it. You're losing and you're losing all control. You're trying to do your paperwork. The lender is losing your paperwork. Your hours on the phone. Nothing is helping you now. And it's like you're falling. You're falling you're in this black hole and you don't know what to do. You're running out of options. The lenders are keep losing your paperwork. Your hours, hours on the phone. And... Um, there is nothing, nothing you can do to help the, the problem of, uh, and you feel like you keep falling and falling, and finally, you find what a short sale really is. A short sale is basically like a safety net for you, not to fall down into the fire of a foreclosure that could mean a seven, seven year of bad credit and a lot of other bad things that could happen to you. So, if you want to do a short sale and you need some information about this, please go to shortsellexpert.com or you can go to adioslender.com to get more information. Thank you and have a good day.